Right, we hear from veterans ahead of this holiday weekend. Many say fireworks can trigger those with PTSD. Our Victor Georges spoke with a couple veterans who say that's not the case for everyone. He's here with tips on how to handle fireworks on the 4th of July. I expect it, so I'm kind of aware of it. But some veterans, uh, depending on their level of PTSD and how they learn to cope with it, they are skittish or they're, uh, it just brings back bad memories. Darren Santini is a veteran and co-chair of the Veterans Action Coalition in Southwest Louisiana. While fireworks don't trigger him, they can impact other veterans. Veteran Jory Camille, vice president of the South Louisiana Veterans Outreach, says, as a veteran, it's important to be aware of the events in the next few days. If you know it's the 4th of July and you know that that might trigger you, you know, be around somebody that's been around you before that, you know, understands PTSD, understands the reactions that you can have to it, it might be able to help you calm down. He says you might see veterans at events with fireworks flinch and look for where the fire is coming from. But it's normal because of their previous training. You might even see them drop to the ground. That's them taking cover. That's just the reaction that's been trained into them. Santini says thinking people that were in the armed forces cannot be around fireworks is simply an assumption. It's more of a stereotype because not everybody that goes to in the military sees combat and not everybody that gets out of the military has PTSD. Santini says personally he takes pride in people celebrating the 4th of July. He tells me that's what he fought for, for people's freedom. In the studio, Victor Georges, KTC TV3.